This movie grossed over $1.2 billion in the box office. It was one of the biggest movies of 2018. I actually had the chance to attend the red carpet premiere right here in Atlanta. Check this out. Hi everyone, Kim Ford here. You are in the spotlight with Kim Ford from AIB TV. And I am so excited to be here at the exclusive premiere of the Black Panther premiere here in ATL. And we are at the fabulous Fox Theater. As you can probably see in here, there are so many, many, many people here. The line is wrapped around the corner. It's packed shoulder to shoulder. But this movie is gonna be so amazing. I'm gonna read to you some of the people that's gonna be walking the red carpet from their headshot sheet. We're expecting Congress, Congressman John Lewis, uh, Ludacris Chris Bridges, uh, Big Boy from Outkast, the legendary Mr. John Amos, and um, so many more. Kim Fields is coming, so many more wonderful executives and starlights and all of who's who in ATL will be here for the exclusive premiere of Black Panther. We know the tickets are already sold out and we are here you know, exclusively to see it and bring it to you. So stay close and let's see who's gonna walk down this carpet. We are so excited at the Georgia Film Academy to be part of the fabric of the industry here in Georgia. 320 film and television productions last year, $9.5 billion in economic activity, and we are putting Georgians to work on all these productions. We're so excited about it. All right, congratulations. Thank, Thank you. you. It's great, man. You know, we started out, you know, Southern Playlist to now Atlanta not only being the music mecca, but the, the movie mecca of the world right now is, is just great to see the, the evolution and I can't wait to see the movie. It's wonderful because as a kid I grew up with comic books that had no black heroes in them and to have them have one introduced now it's almost a coincidence my business partner Charles and I are producing a children's series called Nubbin and Friends so we're both making our debut at the same time Nubbin and Friends and Black Panther it's Absolutely. Uh, it means a lot uh, to have a film like this, as you said, do so well before it even is released. Um, the anticipation um, to see this world, this beautiful world of dynamic men and women who are highly respected, um, who are strong, and who have so much power. Uh, so it's really exciting, and of course that you know another Marvel superhero is, is in you know his own shine right now. Uh, it's very exciting, very exciting. Okay, let us know what's new coming up. You can feel. Well, thank you. Uh, my book, Blessed Life. I'm still on the on the Blessed Life book tour. Uh, that is released everywhere and in every format that books are sold. And then I have a development deal with Lifetime Television. Awesome. Thank you. So uh, for a TV movie that we're developing currently, that will shoot in production later this year. Can you say the name of it? Nope. Not yet? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're looking forward because you always have amazing content. Thank you so Thank you much. much. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I do know that the advanced ticket sales yeah. are some of the hugest, if not the largest, they've ever been for any of our films. Yeah. What that means for us is we are proud, we are happy, we are excited, and we want to share. And we're thrilled at the response to everybody. Hey, Allie, how I, are you doing? I don't know what to say. Uh, yeah. 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 Congratulations. We love it. Thank well, you. Well, thank you very much. Well, thank you. Hopefully you'll love it even more in a couple hours after I you see will. it. Yeah. Okay. Well, it's very important to see someone that looked like them on the big screen. And... You know, I know we had the big old thing about not having certain movies being a part of Hollywood. And now, you know, it looks like he's going to be the biggest of all time. I mean, and that's, you know, that's amazing. It just shows the amount of talent that's out there that we have in the, in the different, um, in different areas that we excel in. And we just have to continue to give our boys these opportunities to see, you know, guys excel in this, in this manner. So... It's great to have my kids here to be able to witness. I, I'm so proud of, of, of Marvel and of Disney and of the industry. This is going to be a giant hit. I mean, the pre-sales are already off the charts, and it's, it's an inspirational and aspirational movie as well. And I think you're going to see the birth of a new Marvel character that's going to have a lot of life beyond this, uh, this film. So I, I, can't, I can't wait for the screening tonight, but I, I will say that uh, you know, 100,000 people in Georgia are working as a result of the film and television industry, and it contributed about $9 billion to the economy last year. Movies are made in Georgia, movies are made in Atlanta, it's good for the city. And I was just saying that more movies are made in this region, in Atlanta, than in any other city on earth, including Hollywood, including anywhere else. 
And that says a lot about the people of Georgia and the conditions here for making movies. So long may it continue. That's a wrap for the exclusive premiere of Black Panther here in ATL. It was amazing. Make sure you guys go check it out if you have not seen it yet. But it's amazing. Every family, take your sons, take your families, take everybody to go see it. It's number one top grossing pre-sales for Marvel and there's a reason why. So thanks so much for the invite, Marvel, and we'll catch you next time. Hey, what's going on family? It's your nephew, Willie Moore Jr. And you're watching In the Spotlight with Kim Ford. Flood up. We'll be back with more In the Spotlight.